Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Behind me we have a 2020 R8 Performance. Customer came to us wanting more power and wanting more performance at the track. So we picked out some mods for the car, wheels, suspension, supercharger kit. Let me take you into the build. Okay, so one of the changes that we made, these cars come with actually 20 inch wheels. Uh, we went with the 19s, but these are special 19s because these have the carbon ceramic brakes and they don't fit every 19. So I called up James at Titan 7. Uh, we're one of the main dealers for them. They have a special 19 inch wheel that fits carbon ceramic brakes for these cars. So we went with a 19 front and rear. Uh, this has a Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tire which is a great performance tire for this customer. He doesn't need to go to a full slick yet. So let me take you around the back and show you the supercharger. So for power, we went with the ESS Stage 2 supercharger, which is actually a Whipple style blower. This customer wanted instant delivery uh, of power. He didn't want any lag. He wanted it to drive mostly stock, but with a lot more power. And that's what the ESS kit achieves. So this is about a 40 hour install for, for this kit because we do have to pull the motor. We actually have to run an air to water uh, intercooler into the front and run coolant lines that come back to the motor. It all fits right in with all the OEM equipment. So to actually install the supercharger kit, we have to pull the motor out. And this is a transaxial transmission, so everything comes out the back. Uh, we're able to work on the engine, put the supercharger on, and then go ahead and place it back in the car. Uh, we also have a Fab Speed Motorsport stainless exhaust as well. So it's pretty loud, uh, pretty much makes the highest performance you can. This is a cool kit because everything is plug and play. We actually can load the tune right into the DME on this. It doesn't require any special dyno tuning, any figuring anything out. AJ from ESS sends us the software. We download it right to the car. Very simple process. Just an easy way to make almost 900 horsepower with your R8. So this customer actually took advantage of our track support that we're offering. He actually took his dad with him with their brand new Mercedes GTR. So you'll see that in the footage. Uh, Steve went out there, our lead engineer. He spent the day with Matt and his dad. They went over everything, went over temperatures, went over strategy, watched the car. It's just a great learning experience for customers who have never been to the track, never, never had to put down times, never had to look at data on how to improve. And we were, almost, uh, we were able to improve Matt by almost over 20 seconds from his previous time. Over a second run, first first run was just a shakedown, just to make sure everything was 
gonna function correctly with the new supercharger kit. Just checking for leaks, checking to make sure everything's working correctly. Second run, we started to get into it. Uh, we were doing really well, and then we went into limp mode. Uh, so I was just looking at our, our faults, and uh, the only thing that we have here is uh, that we have exceeded a torque limit. So I'm pretty sure I know exactly when that happened. And we'll, uh, we'll go back out, see if that's something that continues to occur, or if that was just a one-time thing. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the faults for now. Besides the car, uh, we're working on his driving. We're uh, just getting out there, going over his driving line, his, uh, his, his braking uh, markers, and uh, just, just working on those so that we can just get consistent and, uh, and start to bring our lap times down. So uh, both of these cars are actually fairly stock still. We're mostly just concentrating on tire pressures as far as the tuning abilities go for, uh, for this weekend. Uh, just trying to find that good target for, for this particular set of tires. Both cars are running the Michelin uh, Sport Cup 2s uh, versus the 4S's. We're just trying them out this weekend just to see uh, how they perform. All right, so we just closed out the day uh, here at Sebring with the R8 and the, the GTR. We learned a lot. We, uh, we made sure that the R8 and the new supercharger kit were working properly. Uh, no, no real issues. Ran every session. We were able to finish each session and uh, we took a significant amount of time uh, off of his lap times. So we are slowly getting there. He is getting more and more comfortable with the car and uh, we're just going to continue working with him until we get, get him really comfortable. So we This is only phase one for the car. We do have some Moton suspension three ways that are going on the car. We also have some 1016 Industries carbon parts, which will add some aerodynamic features to this car. Uh, along with the dampers, will increase this time even more. So stay tuned to the channel. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell.